for some reason, when everyone loves something, I tend to pull back my interest until the hype dies down. And then I start looking into those things. So I'm always late to like what's current of current interest. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of those animes that everyone was hyping up. I ignored everyone saying to watch it and just thought it was one of those animes that was super uninteresting besides the battles, the fights that the characters got into. Well, two nights ago, I decided to give it a try. I had exhausted all of the shows I had been watching previously, and I had nothing else in mind, so I decided to give it a shot. Well, I have to say, it is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I can see there's a lot of potential for character development, and I'm just I think I just reached the fourth episode, so I'm very new to this series. So bear with me. Here's a summary. A high school boy, Yuji Itadori, ends up eating a finger that is a cursed object and a part of this bigger curse enacted by a very powerful demon in which Yuji Yuji Itadori becomes a vessel for and joins a hidden organization of jujutsu sorcerers. I think that's what they're called. And they battle demons and try to protect the humans of the human world from these curses that these demons are enacting. So... That's basically it. But so far, I just wanted to say this anime is so entertaining. Besides like the the gruesome battles, like I'm surprised that they went into so much detail in, in the battle scenes, but it's awesome. Besides that, there's a lot of potential for character development for a lot of the characters in there. For example, the main character, obviously he has to have a lot of uh, good background and potential as a character but he's doing all of this even though he knows the goal is for him to die while also killing this demon but he's doing this to save as many people as he can and this is part of his grandfather's dying wish that we see at the very start of this anime I don't want to give too many too much away but there was something at the beginning that I hope does come back around or it could be really nonsense that they just threw out there I did notice while the before the grandfather died, he was trying to convey a message about Itadori's biological parents and Itadori didn't want to hear it. He always just like pushed it aside and was like, no, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Like, let's just focus on the present day and me and you. So I and then the grandfather died, obviously. So. I think there has to do like with something with his parents having some connection to the demon world because Itadori is one of the only few like ever to be able to be a vessel to digest a a cursed object and survive and not be completely taken over by this demon. He has some control over his body and is able to switch back and forth between him and the demon being present in the body, which is very helpful when the jujutsu sorcerers are able to utilize him in battles with demons. So that's like some some detail with the parents, I hope comes back around to open up this understanding of his character and why he is able to withstand the demon controlling his body. So very interesting. And also the grandfather did say, you know, you are a strong, a strong person. Um, save as many people as possible. Like that was alluding to the current situation in which he is 
helping these freaking jujitsu people fight demons. And he was just a, a normal kid. It reminds me a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho because that was kind of the same thing. This this young kid, just a normal everyday kid that has this strength about him dies and is utilized by the spirit world to help save the human world so that's that's kind of like the same thing there are other elements of other animes i think that you can see intertwined in this anime but so far it's so good especially oh my gosh the the music the intro and outro for season one so far is amazing oh my gosh it's beautiful it's like so entertaining it's so cool and vibrant but i do have to say one thing that caught me off guard i don't know if you noticed this but when watching it when itadori is meeting the jujutsu sorcerer like the school a principal or instructor whatever and he's having to prove himself he so, somewhere in there like mentions jennifer jennifer who i don't even know jennifer aniston or so, one of the jennifers one of the, like the mainstream actresses and like i get trying to incorporate current events or current pop culture into an anime but it was just so left field where we didn't hear anything other than that like him having a crush on this actress there's no other mention of another actor actress other pop culture events happening in this anime so that was very re weird and I just think unnecessary like it was strange I don't I don't know if you were hesitant about getting into Jujutsu Kaisen because of all the hype around it I would say try it out because it's probably more entertaining than you would think so I'm gonna continue watching it I'll let you know how I think the rest of the show how it continues and my thoughts on it but so far so good and very modern the art is very clean yeah overall really good all right that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time